Hello, uh, this is Sukant and Ravi here at this end on Tuberculosis Podcast. Uh, last time we had a long chat about what is tuberculosis and if the mission 2025 or 2030 is achievable or not. Uh, this time, actually, we'll discuss something more specific. So I have a question for Ravi. How do you actually treat TB in modern days? Uh, that's a nice question, uh, Sukant. Not only from the point of uh, giving information about treatment. It's also important to now uh, counter the social stigma and uh, with more clarity, the stigma also goes away. Yeah. When a person with uh, TB knows what to expect and that actually most forms, uh, most uh, the basic form of TB is uh, mostly curable, mm-hmm. right? Uh, then I think confidence also builds up yeah. and the tendency to go through with the treatment is also higher. Absolutely. Right. Uh, the conventional treatment mm-hmm. for TB is the directly observed uh, treatment short course, the so-called DOTS therapy. Mm-hmm. This is recommended by the World Health Organization worldwide mm-hmm. and it uh, consists of uh, four fr- so-called frontline drugs. Mm-hmm. The first is a drug called isoniazid. Mm-hmm. The second is the rifampicin. Mm-hmm. Rifampicin in the USA and so on and the other countries. Parazinamide. Mm-hmm. and ethambutol. Mm-hmm. So the patient can expect a tri- uh, typical treatment duration of 6 to 9 months and actually more than uh, 90% cure rate has been observed mm-hmm. in the absence of drug resistance. So if you don't have drug resistance, mm-hmm. these four things work well and actually they manage it. There are dot centers where the patient goes mm-hmm. and they make sure that the patient compliance is there, it's monitored regularly. Mm-hmm. and. Uh, so it's an excellent point Ravi you make because see I think even in rural parts of Himachal where I traveled and then I was traveling to Madhya Pradesh mm-hmm. I still saw people who had this I met people who had this impression that you send people to isolated places where they are languishing for three years mm. so the fact that this therapy is there but that every Indian is not aware of it's totally free of, yeah. it's free it's oh. free I mean, in fact, uh, the government also gives the patient, once you're registered in the, in the center, 500 bucks a month, 500 rupees. That's amazing. Uh, and that's to support your the cost of your uh, going to the center. It also supports your extra nutritional needs. See, often uh, it's also seen as the uh, uh, disease which affects disadvantaged sections of our population. Okay. Is where uh, they are also nutritionally challenged. This is again a very important uh, aspect of uh, TB because your yeah. immune system going down is also linked to your yeah. nutrition and so on and so forth. The government actually has scheme yeah. which, which has uh, a component where they directly put 500 bucks into your bank account every yeah. month for the duration of your treatment. And obviously, they would support it also later. Mm-hmm. But this, I think this is an excellent uh, strategy to... This is amazing. So, people need to know. That's why I think... that I think our podcast uh, is it's an effort good. in the uh, right direction. And uh, while this is the frontline treatment for uh, the basic form of TB, mm-hmm. you also have the so-called multi-drug resistant TB. Mm-hmm. And there is also something called an RRTB. Mm-hmm. Right? So, if you are resistant to rifampicin, Mm -hmm. then uh, it's the so-called RRTB. Mm. And if you are uh, resistant, that is if those two drugs, the uh, two important drugs, isoniazid and rifampicin, Mm -hmm. somehow uh, don't work for you, Mm -hmm. then you are diagnosed with uh, what is called the multi-drug resistant TB. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the statistics, about half a million people Mm -hmm. last year Mm -hmm. uh, as per the World Health Organization statistics Mm -hmm. uh, were diagnosed with uh, multi-drug resistant TB and it's quite uh, the same because as I would come later Mm -hmm. you also have the possibility if you still don't comply to treatments and mismanagement uh, goes on Mm -hmm. you can get this uh, extremely drug resistant TB which is rearing its head Mm -hmm. and in fact it has been identified in more than 100 10 countries worldwide mm. the statistics says 117 so it can be yes. even more yeah. so that, that's really really worrying so uh, in uh, the diagnosis of MDR TB mm. when that happens uh, again the World uh, Health Organization has uh, done a lot of uh, studies mm-hmm. and they now as of last year mm-hmm. uh, say 2016 mm-hmm. they support 
the so called the bangladesh regi- regiment mm-hmm. again it's a shortened course because earlier there was a course which went on for a much longer time mm-hmm. uh, about 15 months or so mm-hmm. now the shortened treatment because patient compliance is important right yeah. uh, that's always remaining at the uh, tip and then you also want to make sure that the mm-hmm. cost of the treatment because often these are public funded you yeah. want to keep the cost of the treatment low yeah so uh, you want to find the best uh, regimen and mm-hmm. you want this to be a consistent thing given to the mm-hmm. population so you don't want multiple resistance coming up yeah. randomly so in this bangladesh regimen which i think uh, is, has been rolled out we have gatifloxacin clofazimine mm-hmm. right incidentally our own group found a target yeah your clofazimine target was, was even bigger uh, than the sub v2 and uh, we yeah. signed an agreement with the global tb alliance yeah, that was probably the biggest news uh, uh, on tb front from at least this part of the world absolutely in recent times absolutely and uh, hopefully it will lead to even better, better drugs, drugs based yeah. on this scaffold then we have etambutol and pirazinamide you yeah. remember these two drugs were the same from the earlier regimen yeah. for basic tb so now in the for a multi drug resistant uh, tb because mm-hmm. those other two drugs were out we have gatifloxacin and clofazimine and these are normally uh, supplemented you know parts mm-hmm. of the treatment you are supplemented with isoniazid canamycin another drug called a prothiazide mm-hmm. and uh, this is the treatment for mdr tb and often with good compliance mm-hmm. we get good uh, cure rates mm-hmm. and uh, did you actually know in india Mm-hmm. Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of uh, TB diagnosed, and it's like about five lakhs in the public sector. This is reported cases, and as per the facts, and uh, about one lakh uh, patients were treated in the private domain. That's a scary statistic. We need to do something yeah. about so it. Yeah. So where I'm where I'm coming towards is that mm-hmm. it's not only uh, the government institution and uh, uh, as a primary caregiver. we have many patients going to the private practitioners yeah so this also means that uh, that they need to be well informed about these strategies in the other statistic mm-hmm. that misdiagnosis of tb is a is of paramount important because that yeah. affects a uh, lot of this thing so this becomes important there yeah then we have a form of tb called xdr tb yeah. extremely drug resistant tb yeah. and this is actually scary because most of the drugs don't work don't yeah. work and here uh, it has been reported in more than 117 countries worldwide and but that's specialized we don't need to simply go into the details of that yeah. right now uh, but uh, rest assured that is has to be managed in a yeah. hospital setting yeah right So thanks Ravi so what actually Ravi has informed us in this podcast essentially is that there are lot of antibiotic options they are not limited and what Ravi humbly didn't tell you much is that in fact uh, Ravi's group my group we are collaboration several other people are working very hard on developing new antibiotics so that one day we can tackle even the XDR TB sure, challenge sure uh, thanks that will be a dream that will yeah, be a dream that will be a dream, dream. towards con- Achieving Conquering. the mission, twenty twenty five and twenty thirty. Absolutely, I hope we are able to do it within those timelines. Yeah, uh, that would be really super. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Thank Thanks you for listening. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.